so welcome back to my channel go dynamic it in today's video we are going to do the setup of dealing dir615 router and this is going to be the first initial setup of the router so when you when you turn out the router first time it will ask you some default setting and a few advanced setting that you need to know before you uh, configure this router so what we will do is uh, let's get into the video to start uh, this procedure so what we have to do is first we have to check as i showed you in my unboxing video the by default ip of this router is 192.168.0.1 so when you connect your router to your pc via ethernet you should have your IP address something like 192.168.0.x. So this is my desktop and let's see what IP address we have received. So for that you have to go to the run and type cmd and the cmd right and this is the command prompt and this case do the IP config and once you do the IP config you can see here on my ethernet I got I received the IP address is 0.153 and this is the 0.1 the, the default gateway is 0.1 so uh, let me tell you one thing that this is going to be a video series on dlink uh, router in this dlink router series we will be discussing like how to change our dscp ip address wi-fi passwords dlink password and many more settings we will do and uh, try to set up this uh, router into the access point mode so many more settings will be uh, following videos so um, you can see here this is my ip address and this is my default gateway so default gateway is nothing but my router ip address so let's go to the router let me bring my google chrome here Okay, this is my Google Chrome here and let's open this IP at 192.168.0.1 So you can see here uh, after adding this IP at a 0.1 here uh, It's asking about that dear customer if it is the first time you're turning the device This is the, this is the setting it is asking so no problem So click on the start and say you want to use English or no So when you click on the English um, it will by default go but when you click on the no, you can see here um, there are uh, Chinese, Japanese, other options are there. Um, so I just click on, I'm, I'm uh, English speaking. Um, so let's click on this uh, yes here. And you can say you can use the advanced setting to continue to configure on the wizard, wizard or you can advance. You have a two options, advance and continue. So let's continue with the setup here. And he says, uh, what are the method you are using for connecting to this Ethernet? So I will use this uh, wired, wired connection. So you can see here, I have an internet and then internet is connecting to one port of this router and from router, I can connect it to this uh, with the LAN, any of the desktop or through this, um, uh, any of the laptop or mobile device. So you can see here, you have a two options here, working mode, you have a router and the access point mode. So we will discuss uh, later on um, on the uh, subsequent video how to convert this router into the access point mode. So as of, as of now we'll go with the router mode. So let's click on the router mode and click on the next. You can see the connection, what type of connection type you have. So this is all purely depends on your service provider. So if you have a dynamic IP address, I mean some somebody is leasing out the IP address to you. You can use the dynamic IP address, uh, static IP, uh, then IPv6. So these are all the difference depends on your service provider. So before configuring this option, please check with your service provider that what type of connection they are providing it to you. So I would select this in this one. I will select this uh, dynamic IP address and just click on the next. And you can see here um, there are options with a clone MAC address of your device. Use VLAN, use IB, IZMP. So you know. You know um, like uh, what happens is uh, sometimes service some service provider will give you the untagged vlan right so this device some understand the untagged vlan so let's say your service providing is giving you the static ip uh, static ip and along with that that's giving you some vlan id so they say the vlan 100 so what we have to do what we have to do is um, you just go to a static ip and this add your static ip address subnet mask gateway dns and then Go to the VLAN ID and just add the VLAN. Let's say the VLAN address is 100. 
So you can go ahead and add it VLAN 100 and click on the next. So in my case, uh, I'm just using the dynamic IP address, no VLAN and click on the next. And then ask him what well, now it's asking. So that was about your WAN connection type. And this setup is about your wireless connection. So this is only support 2.4 gigahertz. Um, and uh, you can see here, this is SSID is going to be enable and this is only to broadcast the 2.4 gigahertz and network name. So you can see um, network link, uh, what you can see, I just wanted to give this like a third eye. So this is my network name. And this is going to be, this is asking the password. So I can give the password here. So password is going to be next. I don't want to enable the guest mode. I do not have a set of box connected to this one. This is with IPTV. If you have IPTV, you must select that. I do not have, um, so I just click on the next this all depends if your service providing providing the IPTV services you must enable that click on the next VOIP do you have VOIP phones again this depends on the service provider I don't have so uh, let's untangle if you have that IP if you have this IP phone what you have to do is just select this uh, uh, like uh, the VLAN IDs so it, this VLAN will do on the VLAN 3 uh, sorry LAN 3 and uh, you have to connect your wife on the line three itself. Click on the next. I do not have, so I'm not going with this one. Click on the next. And this is asking about the user web interface password. So when you log into your router, it will ask you for the password. So let's give some password here. And try to give some strong password. And now it says that everything is file, save the config. If you want to save this default configuration file, you can save it. This is, will be with you. Um, I mean, in, uh, in case of router reset or something, you can go ahead and uh, uh, apply that later on. So now my I have downloaded the configuration and just click on the apply. So now it's applying the configuration. You can see here the blue, uh, the green lines. Okay, that's it done now it's checking the internet connectivity the, the first step was applying the configuration second step is uh, checking internet connection it says that van cable is not connected check the line up the van cable is gone. though that's okay so just ignore this uh, message uh, our intention is to show you how to uh, um, configure the uh, the default setting on uh, the router when you turn off this device first time so this is what the setting in the next video uh, we will do the other setup like access point mode and other stuff so thank you very much for watching my video see you in the next one